know, obviously we're, we're excited about the win. It was a uh, first time uh, two lanes won in the history of the school out at East Carolina. So it was a big win. Uh, we did it the hard way. You know, there's a couple uh, plays in there. We could have made it a little easier on ourselves. Unfortunately, we didn't. But we'll obviously take uh, the result. I thought Donnie Lewis had a fantastic game, six pass breakups. I imagine that's close to a school record in a game if it isn't. Uh, Don Trell Hilliard uh, uh, had another great ball game for us. Uh, you know, Rajon Marbley, uh, AAC uh, Defensive Player of the Week, and deservedly so, had a bunch of big tackles and was in on the, the last tackle of the game when they had a fourth and one, and they uh, ran a little power up the middle. And, you know, great job by uh, Robert Kennedy, Sean Wilson, and, and Rajon on that play to, to stuff them. But, uh, you know, I'm just really proud of the resilience of our guys. You know, was, we were coming off a really tough week the week before, and, and uh, they, they just kept fighting and, and uh, you know, doing what you need to do to come away with a ball game, uh, a win. Uh, Houston, you know, they've been kind of the kingpin of the conference over the last few years. I think they've won 13 games in a season twice over the last six, seven years and uh, been ranked uh, high. Uh, won a bunch of ball games. Uh, you know, they got last second uh, loss to Arizona and, and Texas Tech and, you know, and didn't, didn't play their best game against Tulsa, but they really caught on fire the last few weeks, beating South Florida down at their place and then uh, also uh, having a great game against East Carolina a couple of weeks ago. So they're, they're off a of bye week. I'm sure we'll get a little bit of uh, different stuff from them, but uh, it's going to be a big – Challenge for us, and, and we're looking forward to it on Senior Day right here at Yeoman Stadium. Any questions? Coach, at, at, at this point, uh, how, would you, how would you describe the season thus far? Are you frustrated, or are you, I know that you wanted to be a little further along than you wanted. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of, you know, uh, steps in the right direction. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think we uh, have improved in a lot of different areas. But, you know, you, you want to close out games and you want to, uh, you know, have a few more wins at this point in the season. There's no, no doubt about that, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, – uh, I've got to, you know, always make sure that I'm – understanding the big picture with, with this program and, and uh, uh, you know, we just got to keep, you know, trending in the right direction and uh, always have an upward trajectory in everything we're doing, regardless of uh, whether it's uh, development of our players in the off season, uh, recruiting, you know, playing games, finishing out ball games, getting better offense, defense, kicking game, every everything. And uh, we progressed, we've gotten better, but you know, it's, it's never fast enough for me. Despite those losses, you still got, you know, the goal for this in front of you guys in the Big Bowl game. And especially with the senior day, just the atmosphere that we hear on, you know, on Saturday for Houston, it's, it's pretty special to have that kind of day. Yeah, it is. You know, it's, it's, it's good to be playing, you know, meaningful games in November without question. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, and, and like I said before, Houston's a great ball club, a really talented team, and have one of the top defensive players in the country. Uh, and you know, they're 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 an impressive group. You know, we're going to have to come out and, and and play extremely well. We're going to have to do a better job of of uh, you know hanging on to the football, and and uh, you know, it's it just uh, it, it's it'll be great to have a, a great. Uh, crowd here on on Saturday. We love that, and uh, and I think these seniors deserve it. They're they're a fine group of young men, and they've been extremely easy to to work with. They're they're uh, uh, very competitive. They're not large in numbers, but they've uh, really done a lot of great things for Tulane. Every one of these guys, either all of them are. I think there's only two guys that are going to graduate in May. The rest of them are going to be done in December, or they've already graduated. You know, so. Uh, uh, they're going to have a lot of success uh, down the road with that two-lane degree. 
Well, it's something we thought was, uh, we, we, we made it a little too, too close, supposed to be 12 yard out. He made it about 10 yards and an inch. But, uh, you know, hey, we, we needed it at that time and really good execution by Glenn Couillette coming in, sneaking him out there and, and execution by the whole group and Darnell Mooney catching the ball. So, yeah, it was, it was a big play for us. Yeah. All big, you know, they're, 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 they're a, uh, a really big football team, you know, and, and uh, we've got to do a great job of playing with leverage and, and, and uh, you know, getting on guys and, you know, and mixing it up a little bit. You, know, you can't just pound the ball straight at them every down. We're going to have to, you know, move the pocket, you know, quick throws, uh, different type of runs, get the ball on the perimeter some, and also run the ball inside.